Hey everyone, my name is Wedge and welcome back to another Altered Art Spotlight brought to you in part by Manalink.com and the official MTG Altered Art Facebook group. I don't know how many times I've said this, but go like the Facebook page. Holy crap, there are so many amazing altars there. You like pretty stuff, they have pretty stuff. It's like a match made in NYX. Today we'll be looking at one of the most insane Metal Gear Rising altars ever. Some zombies, an adorable Pokemon, and more. I hope you enjoy, and if you do, remember to hit that like button. It helps support the series and the channel and my heart. Yeah, thanks. We'll start with Big Up Altars. Speaking of start, I have no idea where to begin with how awesome this altered swamp is. Those zombies look amazing. The ooze and decay everywhere is fantastic, but what really gets me are the borders on the card and the text in the text box. I mean, come on, this is one of those altars I shouldn't have to explain how friggin' cool is this? It's so immersive as a swamp. I'd love a pile of these for a zombie tribal or a commander deck. I can't get over those borders. Look at the bottom border specifically. Just A plus work here. Very cool. Big up second piece is mind blowing. I have no real way to describe how awesome it is. This winter orb looks 3D. It has to be 3D, right? I mean, the orb is coming off the card. It's one of the most amazing 3D like altars I've ever seen. It seriously messes with my eyes whenever I look at it. Honestly, it's unfair how good this is. You can even see beyond the orb itself, the grooves in the card as if it's emanating something. The colors in the orb are flawless. The distortion is spot on. The creativity here is masterful. Big ups, you did insane work. I'd love to buy the crap out of this. Wowza. Our next artist of the day is Alt Attack. We'll begin with this adorable Pikachu altar on a Mardu Scout. I mean, it's adorable, come on. How can you not love this? Alt Attack even changed all the mana symbols to lightning energy symbols. That's just immersive. The best thing about this though, it's Surfing Pikachu, one of the biggest jokes in the Poke universe since forever. The colors are great, they nailed the facial expression, I'm a huge fan of these kinds of altars. I want to see more like this, the energy symbols really put it over the top for me. I want an altar deck of just Pokemon altars, it would be a zoo deck, but it'd be called Gotta Catch Em All, yeah, I like, I like where this is going. Anyways, great piece, seriously awesome. Alt Attack, second work, you're not ready for this. Check out this insane Fiend Slayer Paladin altar based on Metal Gear Rising. I know, they cut the card in half. Look at the right side of the altar, that's all hand painted, it's so realistic. It looks like the card was actually cut, are you kidding me? This is easily one of the most innovative altars ever. They cut the card in half. If you aren't freaking out right now, you're dead to me. The colors are amazing, the art style is superb, but I mean, it's that cut effect. The name bar is perfect, the text box sizes match up really well, there's nothing bad I can say about this. I'm not crazy, right? This is disgustingly impressive. 10 out of 10 would buy. We'll end the day with Toto Altars and some pretty sweet extensions. We'll begin with this Oromancer. I love Rebecca Gay's artwork and the ability to extend her pieces is very difficult. Toto makes it look easy here. Keeping the style intact, this extension looks pretty seamless. They perfected the sky and the shades of blues and greens. I also love how the little white specks are inserted throughout the piece helps to keep with the style. When an artist that's so recognizable does a card, it makes it really difficult to extend well, but Toto really hit a home run here. Something about this piece is just so serene. Toto's second piece, and the last of the day, is an extended Niv-Mizzet the Fire Mind. I really like Niv-Mizzet. I especially like reds, blues, and purples together. Makes sense why this caught my eye. The details are what sold me. The wings are extended pretty well. The buildings in the background are mirrored impressively, and the water on the left-hand side of the card is beautifully drawn out. There isn't much going on at the bottom of the card, but I'm totally okay with that. The focus should be on the dragon and the water. This may seem simpler compared to the other works we've seen today, but there's something nice about extensions like this. It really lets you take in what the art's about. Big fan. Well, that's it for this week's Altered Art Spotlight. Let me know in the comments which pieces were your favorites and what you would like to see next. Also, remember to like the Altered Art Facebook group and check the description of this video for all of today's artist information in case you want to throw money at their faces. As always, subscribe for the latest and most reliable Magic the Gathering information you could ever need. This is the Manasaurus. I'm Wedge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.